Hey everybody, I'm Olivier Girard, an economist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of the 10 weeks online back saving program. Today, I'd like to talk about a muscle which is rarely mentioned on the web. You'll not see it that often apart from on this channel and this muscle is called Serratus Posterior Superior. Yeah, strange name, you will agree. But if you look at it, it's actually a deep muscle that runs really parallel to the rhomboids, i.e. from the mid-back to the shoulder blade. And the, muscle, the pain referred by this muscle is pain here that goes down your arm like this along the elbow and that will end up taking the pinky side of the fingers. It's experienced as really deep pain and you know it's it's quite confusing pain actually the reason why it's quite confusing is that you know if you try to reach for it most probably you will not be able to locate a painful point because that painful point is right under your shoulder blade unless you manage to put the shoulder blade extremely far forward in which case you can reach it but you see Therefore, even if you do massage with a ball against the wall or something, most of the time you will not be able to get to the point. Okay, let's try to understand how this muscle can become painful. Well, you know, it's like the rhomboids. It mainly gets painful when the shoulders are spread forward, spread aside, i.e. when you have a round shoulder posture. Travel and Simons really describe it as pain which is due to that movement, you know, it's having a too high desk and reaching forward with the arms in internal rotation. And you see, reaching forward if my desk is too high is exactly the same movement as when I'm here trying to reach my keyboard. Yeah, I'm sure that many of you will recognize this posture. Of course, this muscle will also be painful if you have scoliosis because, you know, when you go sideways like this, the spine will come and press uh, against the, the, the trigger points or there will be more pressure of the shoulder blades on the muscle, etc. But really, I'd like to speak about here the generic case of people who have no, specific, no special condition, you know, no scoliosis, no nothing, and they have pain in the serratus posterior superior. So what can we do when we have pain there? Well, as the problem comes from that, we need to do one posture correction that brings us back to this, which is posture and ergonomic correction, and it both goes, it goes both together. And we need to work on the muscles that would do the other way around. What I'm especially saying here is that exactly like I explained in this video on the rhomboids, the idea will not be to stretch the muscle, because you know it suffers from being too long, so stretching it will not resolve the issue. What will resolve the issue is to work on the antagonist. And one important antagonist is the trapezius in, uh, inferior, the lower trapezius, yeah? That will bring your shoulder blades down and together instead of letting them go sideways like this, okay? There are five ways to uh, train the, the lower trapezius together with the latissimus dorsi sheet. I'd like to show you the two most popular ways to, to mobilize the lower trapezius. So let's go. You see, in the first possibility, what's really important is that we stand with the pelvis backwards and tilted inwards. If you don't know how to do that, check this video on pelvic retroversion, yeah? Or come to me to discuss your posture. So once I'm here, yeah, I will bring my shoulders forward, whilst keeping them forward, I will bring them upwards. Whilst keeping them upwards, I will bring them backwards. This is super not nice. I'm going to bring them down, and to bring them even further down, I will have to relieve a bit the tension between the two um, shoulder blades, and that allows me to bring my shoulders a bit here. Yeah? And now I can relax my arms whilst maintaining the tension in the mid back. The tension is really felt here along the lower trapezius as well as here. So you see, it describes an M in your back. And this is why I call this group of muscles the M. So this is the first possibility. The second possibility is to 
have your arms like this, yet like you would be holding the steering of a bike. And you imagine that you have a balloon between your elbows, and what you'll do is press on the balloon, yeah? And by pressing on the balloon, same, you will feel tension here, yeah? So basically your job is to create the tension and then keep the tensions whilst you maintain your arms. So to cut a long story short, how we, do we resolve pain due to the serratus posterior superior? Number one, we resolve posture and ergonomics so as to stop doing this. It doesn't mean that it's useless to go to a massage therapist or thing, but it just means that if you keep putting oil on the fire every day, I mean, get married with your massage therapist because you'll need him or her every two days, every three days. You need to do the root cause treatment, and root cause treatment is posture, ergonomics, and behavior. If you need more information on that, comment below, and I'll send you information on the online posture programs.